on since the 8th, which was published in the Storyteller magazine originally in 1917. Um, E.F. Bunsen was an archaeologist, a British archaeologist. He um, is now mostly known as a writer, mostly known for his Mappa and Lucia books, um, which were published, I think, in the 1920s and 30s. Uh, but he also wrote quite a lot of ghost stories. And um, this one is not a ghost story, but it is supernatural. And it does very interestingly pick up on some real experiences that he had uh, in Egypt in um, the early part of the 20th century. So E.F. Bunsen studied archaeology at Cambridge. He was a friend of uh, Mon Montague Rhodes James, M.R. James, who a lot of people will know. Uh, and he was a student at the British School of Athens, which was a sort of overseas training facility for um, British scholars who were interested in excavating in Greece and traveling around Greece. And it was a sort of hub, and it still is, it still exists today. It was a, a hub for travel and uh, study in museums and explorations and excavations. And he did some excavating in Greece, uh, but he also did some excavations in uh, Alexandria and Egypt. And um, his sister at the time was also excavating in Egypt at Lu in Luxor um, at a place called the Temple of Met. And the reason that this story is so interesting is that part of it is set in the Temple of Met. And um, E.F. Benson helped his sister out. She was directing the excavation at Met with a friend of hers called Janet Gorley. Uh, and um, he came and helped for a little bit. So, this story kind of gives you an insight in one sense into his experiences in Luxor. But one of the other reasons that I really like this story is that um, it's not set on site particularly. It's set in um, essentially in tourist Luxor. And so it gives you a sense of the fact that Egypt is a colonized country at this time. And it also gives you a sense that um, it sees a regular influx of tourists from Europe and America who are coming in and um, buying up antiquities that are being sold on the street. Um, and it just so happens that the, the sort of protagonist in the ape is one of these tourists who's kind of vaguely interested in Egyptology and gets his hands on a, a piece of, um, uh, a piece of um, seance sculpture, like a little figurine that he manages to access um, certain supernatural elements that are attached to this figurine. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil it, but um, it's really nice to be able to connect these two elements of E.S. Benson's life, his kind of interest in the supernatural and his archaeology, and to have this link with his sister also. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I chose this story. Um, and I think it's quite important also to get away from the sort of mummy narrative. So um, this story doesn't have any mummies in it, but it does give you another kind of supernatural encounter, which is quite um, interesting, I think. 